What is the best trailing stop loss? I tested six different types using 20 years of S&P data and thousands of simulations to find out. A lot of the time with a trade, I would set a fixed stop loss and take profit and then let the trade play out until one of them is hit. But there are often times when price just continues to take off and I realize that I took profit way too early. And that's where a trailing stop comes in. A trailing stop moves up as price moves in my favor. It locks in the gains while still giving the trade some breathing room. But how far away should I place the stop? If it's too tight, then I can get stopped out too early. But if it's too wide, then I can give too much profit back if the trade eventually turns against me. The first stop loss that I'm testing is based on the average true range indicator, the ATR. If I was to open a trade at the end of this candle, then I would look at the ATR value over here, which for the current candle is 221, and that's how far I would place a stop. I've marked my trailing stop loss with this orange horizontal line. As the trade progresses, at the close of each candle, I would then recalculate my new trailing stop position based on the new close and the new ATR value. If that new stop is higher than my existing one, then I move it up accordingly. I continue to repeat this process until eventually the trade turns against me. Importantly, the stop loss can only move forward. It should never move backwards. The second approach I'm going to test is to place the stop loss at swing lows. Every time price makes a swing low, I'm going to move the stop loss up with it until eventually the price comes back down and breaks through it. The third type is similar to the ATR, but it's based on a percentage instead. So it's always a fixed value. And for my test, I'm going to use 2% of the close price. Number four is an EMA. Specifically, I'm using a 50 period EMA, but these are great for following trends. In this example, the trade would be held until somewhere around here, where price eventually breaks down through the EMA line. Number five is the super trend indicator, which similar to the EMA is also great for following trends. Instead of using it for my entry and exit signals, I'm going to use this bottom line as my trailing stop loss. When price eventually breaks down through that level, that is where I would exit the trade. And the last one is the parabolic SAR, which works similarly to the EMA and the super trend, but it is a lot more reactive. But I will use it in the same way as a trailing stop. Whenever price breaks down through the parabolic SAR level, that is going to be where the trade exits. I'm going to run this test on the S&P 500 over the last 20 years using daily time frame. I'm not using any specific strategy here either. Instead, I'm going to generate around about a thousand random entries for each of these trailing stop types. I will include spread, leverage, and risk 2% on each of these trades. I then ran each simulation a thousand times. This gave me a thousand equity curves. Some did great and some did badly. From those, I calculated the average and the median equity curves to give me a single result for the stop loss strategy, which actually did well considering these are completely random entries. It showed that the stop loss strategy was able to follow the general movement of the price reasonably well. This was the result for the ATR stop loss. I then repeated the same process for each of the other stop loss types until I had a median equity curve for each of them. Now I can plot the results out on one chart to see how they all stack up. The super trend in red and the parabolic SAR in purple gave the worst results. The brown and orange lines were next. These are the percentage stop and the swing low stop. The best results came from the ATR stop loss in blue and the EMA stop loss in green. It seems like the stop losses that actually respond to the price movement and price volatility perform the best. If you found this useful, then hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video.